Hi guys, this is Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. This is the second video for my SEO guy on the service change out. It wasn't really an upgrade again. Um, and again, I'll explain that with the meter. It is the end of January, 2023. If you look for my bibs and my shirt, sweatshirt, you'll see I look the same. Um, yeah, very cold day, it was decent. Sun came out a little bit, Yahoo, and then it got cold again. Anyway, so here we are, we're all upgraded. I left my surge protection device uh, so my customer can, I forgot to tell you, put the warranty for it if you would like. Uh, it's inside there, the paperwork. But yeah, so this is now the sub panel, no longer the main panel. I did just mark that it's a one odd aluminum SER for my inspector. Knowing you electricians, 310.15B, wherever that is, you cannot assume a sub panel is derated. That's a key factor for you guys. I've had some inspectors look for that. And uh, Damien is the chief inspector in Fort Collins, electrical inspector, sharp guy. So I hope you guys know that. If you don't, you'll figure it out. So yeah, I did pull a one out in there for that 100 amp, but yeah, all the breakers are labeled. We did sticker everything and then marked the side of the panel and marked off, it's underneath this, as we went through. It helped us trace the house a lot faster um, and then took the old schedule and then threw it away when we were done. But I know absolutely where everything goes. I know if he's gonna do arc fault breakers or dual function Siemens in the future, that we need about nine single poles, but then here's a two pole right there. When we labeled it, we also realized that there's too much going on in one of the rooms, actually two rooms and the garage. So if we do that, we have to have a two pole tie arc fault sharing common tie handle that has one pigtail coming off of it. They make it with Siemens, but they don't make a dual function that way. So if you need GFI protection, for instance, dishwasher disposal, you'll have to implement it upstairs, okay? And then you cannot series your neutral. It'll trip. Anyway, so that's kind of that. Plenty of extra space for him. Outside, for you people that were watching me, there was just a small little LB. Well, not anymore, okay? Here's my surge protection device by code. My main breaker shut off. I put my short circuit current rating at 22K for these bolt-on breakers. You know it's a bolt-on because it's top dead center, TDC. Here's my sub panel now to the garage and right here for the surge protection with a couple spares. Here's my slip sleeve that's right there. I'm gonna grab my screwdriver. Uh, give me two seconds. It's going to be hard to find that breaker for him. I'm going to try to search. I did have to get it approved, and I did show that it was a one-out wire coming up that we could support 125 amps. But I had to take pictures and send it to the power company, and then they came out and checked the feeder size. And then I also checked with the building inspector. Once that's all in, we had to drive two eight foot ground rods, inter system bonding bridge bar for their new fiber optic. And then we have to seal going in through the nipple and everything is bonded appropriately. This is now my main disconnect for the whole home. Okay. That's what it looks like if you need to get a couple slots for solar. Maybe you charge your electric car right here an RV backup if you don't have an HOA, or you've got two extra slots for an air conditioning unit or a hot tub to come off, okay? So once Utilities decides to upgrade this, they're gonna let me know, but across the street by that lamppost is a transformer. Fort Collins Lighting and Power wanted to put in a vault and make the customer pay for the direct bore. Then I had to charge him to trench 
50 foot up and put in a new two and a half inch schedule 40 raceway at three foot deep and have a ribbon tie that's traceable tape at 12 inches deep as I bury it and be inspected by the utilities. Then this gets inspected by the power company. So it's not as easy as you think if your meters are at the end of the driveway because he's responsible for the feeders coming up. They wanted me to put the meter up here, but take care of all that for them. That would have added easy um, on my side, at least $5,000. And then for that side, direct boards are like five, six grand across the street. Plus the vault, he would have been easily looking at another eight to $12,000, probably 12. Then we could look at why he called me to do this right here. So guys, keep in mind that just trying to upgrade real simple is not as easy as the word just simple, fast, cheap, quick. That doesn't exist in our code. Thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great week.